Okay, well, thank you. I think uh, yeah, the KCA is, is a fantastic resource. If you guys have been on the, the website, uh, the national website, uh, tremendous information uh, source and links, uh, and then local KCA chapter as well, whether it's something people are interested to participate or just want links to resources, uh, I know Art and Julie would be a great point of contact to, to help out. Okay, I'm not live here. One more slide. To so my understanding, uh, and uh, Carrie's going to come back at the end to wrap things up. Um, that yes, the materials from today will be posted uh, to the KCA website, uh, and I think also video of the presentations as well. So I think you can find everything. Uh, there will be a delay until it's all processed and, and ready to um, post. She, she can tell you uh, what that timeline looks like. So um, I'm so thankful for everyone coming out today. Uh, I don't want to spend too much more time, but just a couple uh, items at the end here I wanted to, uh, to pass along. Um, so something I, I thought to present to this group, um, uh, perhaps it's, it's uh, late for people already diagnosed, but uh, something that we are excited about bringing forward on our campus here uh, is what we call a multidisciplinary clinic approach to patients coming into our system that are newly diagnosed with an apparent kidney tumor. Uh, and the faculty you met today, uh, the, the point man for urology will be Dr. Gore, uh, the radiation oncologist, um, Dr. Zhang, that spoke today as well. Uh, and, and the format for this uh, would be a, a first clinic appointment for a patient, um, would meet with specialists from each of three different disciplines, meet a urology surgeon, uh, a medical oncologist, uh, and a radiation oncologist, all in the same afternoon. Uh, and those physicians as well, in real time, as part of uh, the afternoon, uh, will review the outside, if it's outside, pathology, whether it's a biopsy or nephrectomy, if it's been done, uh, and review radiology studies. Uh, and then present to the patient a plan of action, uh, what's gonna happen moving forward, and having coordination so that follow-on appointments with whomever the patient should see next are taken care of at that point in time. So I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's something that we do for other diseases, and I think it's gonna be excellent for kidney cancer because a big portion of our patients need to see medical oncology, need to see urology, uh, might need to see radiation oncology, and we waste so much time just making referrals and waiting for our colleagues to see patients. Um, so I think it's going to be a, a, great, uh, a great opportunity, and I think that's going to be very well received. So no, just these core, uh, core folks, um, so cancer-centric uh, assessment, um, nephrology care may be very relevant to patients, but that, uh, they're not going to participate in the actual cancer therapy uh, per se. Uh, other ancillary supports, nutrition, um, th things like that are not right now intended to be embedded, but depending on interest and, and common referrals we make, we can always pull in another type of service if we think that's going to be relevant. But this would be the starting, the starting uh, folks. Uh, it's been done for years, for example, for breast cancer, many breast cancer patients need surgery, surgery and then radiation and then medical therapy, chemotherapy. And so pulling them all together into a single um, daily, uh, single day assessment, get all those recommendations all at one time and build out the treatment plan is, was very well received in that context. And so building on that experience and a little copycat uh, from our group. Uh, and so the last thing I just wanted to throw out, um, we'd love to hear any feedback, positive or negative. Uh, we do plan to try and make this an annual event uh, moving forward. And as you're thinking about what you heard today, if there's things on your mind that you wish we'd talked about, uh, shoot us an email or give a call and let us know, and we'll keep that in mind for next year's program. Um, each year would be you know, a novel set of speakers, uh, and we can try and tailor it if there's strong interest in a specific direction. Um, so I put contact information up here. Many of you are in our network. If you have phone numbers, uh, the nursing line or emails uh, or our scheduler, whomever you 
regularly contact, shoot them a note, they'll pass it on to me. Uh, if you don't have our contact information, uh, Samantha Lepidy's contact is here. She's my um, administrative uh, uh, person that really pulled this all together and made it happen, so she'd be the best point of contact. And then the last thing I wanted to point out, uh, I have had some patients that were very interested in what's happening on our campus in a very detailed way. Uh, there is the opportunity uh, for those that are interested um, to come to our campus uh, to tour a research lab uh, or other facilities that you're interested in and get a much more in-depth presentation and discussion uh, with folks on our campus. A lot of the more basic research wasn't part of today's talk. We're really trying to focus on what's the patient experience right now. Uh, things that are in the research lab today would be several years off before it would come to some sort of fruition that might impact patient care. But if you want to look under the hood and, and see what's going on, uh, the, our development folks would be uh, the liaisons to set that up for you, to meet you here on campus, uh, to give you a tour, help you meet folks that you thought uh, were doing things that you found that were very exciting. There are opportunities on our campus. Uh, there's something called scientific lunch where different faculty members, and this would go beyond uh, the context of kidney cancer, uh, give talks to, um, to uh, uh, an audience uh, of, of people from off our campus um, that are interested to hear about science. It's meant to be uh, for a lay audience. Uh, it's a free event, but just learning the calendar and seeing who's talking. Uh, again, our development folks would be the ones to um, give you that information. So I invite you once again to reach out and make contact if you're not sure who to get hold of. Um, these would be the people that you could contact directly, uh, but reach out and contact me and I'll hand you off to those folks uh, and, and help you set that up. I know that's not for everybody, but it is something that we're excited about. We think about kidney cancer every day and we have our nose in projects and research we're trying to work on. And if somebody's interested to learn more about it, it's really, uh, we're very excited to, to hear that and be more than happy to talk to you. So that's, uh, that's all I wanted to pass along to wrap things up. I do want to pass along a few thank yous. Uh, KCA that, that brings this uh, program together. Um, Carrie, you met today, but also Stephanie Shirley that doesn't come out for the program, but does most of the coordination for us to set it all up. Uh, the faculty that you met today, uh, Julie and Art that are the glue that uh, run the local um, KCA chapter, uh, and certainly all of you uh, patients that are in our network, patients from other networks uh, and their families. Uh, and lastly, people not here today, but Samantha, uh, Jesse Kasten, uh, Laisa, some of you know my, um, my scheduler for the clinic, uh, volunteer to uh, reach out by email and try and contact as many of our patients as she could uh, to remind you of this program. So I certainly appreciate all their help to bring this together.